happens to the consolidation story. Many sectors were seeing consolidation. We've seen broad-based deal flow in the past few months, in, at least earlier this year. So how, you, how do you see that panning out now? Is there a wait and watch there? And which other sectors are on top of your list when it comes to consolidation? Mutual um, funds have hmm. been consolidating. Hmm. Uh, I think, again, if there's opportunity for consolidation, demonetization is not going to stop that because mm. that's not a market yes. that gets affected. Mm. Uh, you look in the telecom space, especially mm. in the tower business, that mm. I think will continue to get consolidated because the economics drive consolidation. Yes. Um, Beyond towers also do you see more consolidation in the telecom space? It's pretty good. The big boys out there. So I don't know who's going to consolidate with who. Mm. Hmm. Right now the players are all big boys. Yes. So again it depends on how the disruption affects everybody hmm. and uh, where the economics uh, force hmm. them to look outside or not. Hmm. Or to bring in more capital from outside and dilute as a promoter. Hmm. But I think towers, in we've seen a lot of interest in that. Yes. Constant. Um, consumers. So these are the spaces yeah. uh, you think. So what could be the theme when it comes to uh, the m and Street uh, in 2017 once everything settles down? So I think uh, continued deal flow, hmm. uh, continued interest by strategics hmm. in, uh, again, as I said, these sectors. Inbound, outbound, more? I don't think outbound so much because I think most of our houses have their problems to clean up, at least to, to hunker down and see that they can mm. deleverage their balance sheet. So again, it, and like the Indian can never resist a good buy, mm. so if there's a good deal out there, uh, yes, I do see some outward, but mm. nowhere near we saw in those uh, heydays. Mm. Um, maybe technology companies to reverse engineer and bring the technology back home. Mm. Maybe in the auto space where there are mid cap companies in distress themselves in Europe, etc. Mm. But uh, otherwise, uh, I don't see much outbound. All and right. of course, America continues to dominate the inbound. When it comes to the foreign investors, of course, India has sorted its uh, tax treaties with Mauritius and Cyprus. Now, how does this uh, pan out? Is the, the, the lesser return really going to deter some of the foreign investors from coming into the country? You know, I don't think it should. I don't think it should. I think that, you know, we, we sort of had the Mauritius Treaty for a long, long time. Uh, it's a clear aberration that exists. Uh, the government has, to that extent, honored its treaty obligations, although it has tried to pierce the legitimacy of the use of the treaty um, and gotten into disputes. But that having been said, uh, very few countries in the world now have zero tax. Yeah. And so I think as long as we lay down a path, foreign investors, to my mind, everyone complains about paying tax when they pay zero, but to my mind they will be much more comfortable with a path which is certain. Hmm. They will price it in. Their investors will price it in. Hmm. There will be less debate with the tax man. And, uh, you know, life will go on. If the return is marginally less, yeah for God's sakes. It's fine. So let's talk about corporate India's mood. Now, you interact with so many of them. You've been a house uh, legal advisor to so many big corporates in the country. How do you see the mood with the various changes we've seen and many events that we have seen in the year gone by? So, I don't see a happy mood with many promoters. Um, and I don't judge if the reasons for their bad mood is right or wrong. Mm. Uh, but the truth is uh, a disconcertingly large amount of promoters mm. are not willing to put their money in the ground in India. Mm. Still? Still. Uh, they just feel that they can uh, operate more freely, with more freedom, with less corruption, with less tension abroad. Uh, and they want to take that chance when they can. Right now they're busy repaying their banks mm -hmm. uh, and selling, unfortunately, their Some prime jewels. Prime jewels, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, of course they're not happy. And the next thing I see is that the next gen is not necessarily interested in real industry. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably seen the parents go through what they've gone through, rightly yes. or wrongly. Yes. Um, they're more fintech. 
uh, happy guys with all this tech stuff. Mm. And uh, frankly, they don't want the factories, mm. which really is an issue yes. for me on a, on a human level. Yes. Who's going to take that forward? Yeah. So then is it just a stake sale mm. to an MNC? Mm. And is that what will happen ultimately? Mm. Because the ease of doing business they've seen in the dining room, it's awful. But they've they've seen that growing up. That's right. So do they Can't want blame that? them. So yeah. do they want that? Of course, your sector is immune to recession. You I always have business. Uh, but uh, how's the competition? And is this uh, is the new year going to be better than the last year? I certainly hope the new year is going to be better than the last year. As you say, unfortunately, pain or pleasure. People have to turn to us. The best should win. The brightest should succeed. And. Uh, the most competitive with the best domain will get the deal. And clients are now much more discerning. Hmm. They know who within each law firm is good at what. They actually demand that particular partner to look after them. Hmm. From my point of view, that's delightful. If somebody is seeking out someone in particular from AZB, I'm made. <laughs> that's a good point. But finally, uh, Zia Modi, what's going to keep you very busy in 2017? Which is one area that you are most active in right now and focusing on? Distressed assets. All right. On that note, thanks so much. It was a pleasure, pleasure chatting with you. Pleasure. And many notes I've jotted down for the <laughs> year uh, coming in 2017. Have a great year, ma'am. Thank you. Same to you. Thank you. So that was uh, the episode with Zia Modi, a very interesting conversation. Thanks so much for joining us on Big Deal.